right. For more, let's bring in Fast Money friend Gene Munster um, of Deepwater Asset Management. Gene, um, I don't know about the septillion stuff and, you know, all the zeros. At the, what can this do? Drug discovery and, and other things. Is, is, is this too much to afford, uh, you know, Google's market cap today for what this could be in however many years? Uh, I'm in the camp, I think, uh, consistent with what uh, most of the panelists said, which is this is probably too much for today. I, br I agree with Guy that this is more of a validation point for Google's tech. But this, just to put it in perspective, they started this Willow project 12 years ago. And so uh, the potential around this being commercialized uh, is probably 10 years away. And so it's a it's still a long time. It does speak. There is a piece where the stock should have been up today. I would have guessed a few percent because I think it does speak to Google invested in the right areas for what will be continuing tech acceleration in the decades to come. I mean, this is a Google investor is asleep well at night, similar as Waymo is asleep well at night business. Doesn't get a ton of attention, but I think collectively, Melissa, I would have expected the stock to be up a couple percent today, not 5%. Gene, I love when you agree with me, so thank you. I'll ask you this question then on the back of that. Who should be worried about this? I saw in your notes, probably not NVIDIA, not AMD yet, but somebody has to be. Yeah, I think, you know, there's some of the other uh, quantum uh, companies. There's private companies on that side. But I think on the public side, uh, you know, the, the worries are, are probably, because this, is, again, is so far away, I think the the piece that uh, the rest of the MAG7 needs to be contemplating here and NVIDIA needs to be thinking about is just what are they doing to have some sort of position within quantum computing. It is, it's theory right now, but I think you have to pursue that theory, similar to uh, when aviation was theory uh, before we got flight. I mean, all of these things uh, go from projects, from the lab. And so I, I would say the, the potential losers are the companies that aren't doing that. And I think Google is standing alone right now uh, with, uh, within the MAG7 uh, in terms of their investments in quantum. So you said 10 years away from commercialization, and what do you think commercialization could be? What is the field that could benefit the most from quantum computing? I mean, I think it's as simple as AI. I mean, the, just the peer, uh, you went through the numbers, basically going from an eternity to five minutes. I mean, it's hard. This, this is the kind of stuff, it's called superposition. It's hard for me to wrap my mind around uh, the improvements in compute uh, speed. And so I think probably the biggest beneficiary is just everything that's AI. I mean, ultimately, you have a company like NVIDIA. If quantum moves from theory to actually a production product, they need to have an answer down the road. And so uh, the question, what you know, who's going to be impacted? What's the use cases mm -hmm. on these? I think AI is probably front and center, and within AI, probably healthcare is one of the, the biggest uh, areas, initial areas.